versus Ted. This is not a possession problem. Ted is the true second coming of Jesus Christ and the Creator of God. But you can, you know, pray all you want and it's appreciated. You know, some of you are very, very sincere out there and think maybe this is only a possession problem. We can help Ted and get Ted from being a false Christ, you know, because Ted's not intention doing this. Ted would never help out Satan or devil and demons. If Ted thought he was a false Christ, you know what I would do? I'd take a gun to my head and BOOM! I'd kill myself just like that. I would never do this working for Satan and the demons or anything evil if I thought I was a false Christ. Um, that's what I would do. <laughs> my statement um, that I'm suicidal on video and someone's going to say, Commit Ted! Let's try to commit Ted and put Ted away be, you know, in, in a mental asylum or something mental for the rest of his life or let's commit Ted, you know. No, this is spiritual. People in Bibles have had spiritual problems or spiritual, spiritual problems, spiritual, for years it's documented Bibles. They hear voices, they have religious dreams, they have visions, they have religious preoccupation. It's not delusional, it's not delusions, it's not mental, and Ted is not suicidal. Ted for many years has been enormously stable, is not suicidal in the slightest. In fact, it's quite the opposite of suicidal, and that is Ted's a fighter, and Ted's fighting. And Ted's fighting for, for life, and he's protecting himself. Why would a suicidal person protect himself? Okay? Ted is definitely protecting himself and has security, and is definitely very careful about his security and has security. Therefore, Ted's not suicidal. This is that Ted's protecting himself and protecting others out there and protecting. Ted is a protector, and he's protecting himself too. Therefore, this is not suicidal. Ted has been enormously stable for years. So don't try that either, some of you out there.